is the second method of calculation of cost of equity which is called as Gordon growth model okay so the easiest way to look at this model is that when you invest into a stock you expect to earn return from two sources one is you expect to earn in the form of dividend so that is typically called as dividend yield second you expect to form in the form earn in the form of capital appreciation to which we would simply be calling as g now the formula for dividend yield is dividend of year 1 divided by price of stock at time 0 the formula for g is return on equity into retention rate so we have to spend good amount of time on understanding both of these formulas but we'll write, write down the formula quickly and then we'll do an example on this so let us say that there is a stock which is expected to pay dividend or which last year paid a dividend of 30 next year dividend that is expected from the stock let us say is 40 price of the stock today is 400 return on equity of that stock is 50% retention ratio of the stock let us say is 20% we have to calculate the cost of equity now first let us understand the meaning of word retention let us say a company a hypothetical scenario a company has made profit of 100 profit up to tax of 100 is it compulsory for a company to pay all the profit no it can decide how much of the profit is to be paid so if company decided that they will pay profit of 80 in the form of dividend then they have paid 80% of profit in dividend this number is called as payout ratio and if payout ratio is 20 80 that means 20 was a part of retained earnings and therefore this 20 would be called as retention ratio okay so this 20% that we have right now that is the retention ratio so now we have this data using this data we can calculate cost of equity so how would we do that we will say cost of common equity d1 divided by p0 plus g d1 is given to us sorry d1 is given to us as tell me should we use 40 or should we use 30 40. we will use 40 divided by 400 now see what is the intuition for using d1 imagine you are an investor in this stock at time 0 the stock price is 100 sorry stock price in this case is 400 dividend of 30 was paid last year dividend of 40 is what we are going to earn this year so for in, from a investor perspective on an investment of 400 he's earned a dividend of 40 therefore we use dividend of next period so 40 divided by 400 plus the growth rate so how much would that be roe into r 50% into 20% would get us 10% So 10% plus 10%, your cost of equity is 20%. Are we fine here? Let's do one more example. Now, before that, you can write down a formula. So now we have dividend of year one, or we dividend of year one is always calculated as dividend of year zero into one plus the growth rate. For example, what if a scenario where we are given a D zero? Let's say D zero is given to us as thirty. Growth rate is given to us as fifteen percent. We can always find out D one, which would be thirty into one plus fifteen percent, which would be. Is this correct? Thirty-four point five. Are we fine here? Let's practice one more example. let us say dividend of time 0 which is given to us 
is 15 return on equity is 20 percent payout ratio is 40 percent market price at time zero is 100 calculate cost of equity profits if payout ratio is 40 percent retention ratio has to be 60 percent 28.8 is the answer see how do we do this again cost of common equity we would say d1 plus p0 plus g first let's calculate g r g is calculated as roe into r or the easiest way to remember how i remember for my exams r into r return on equity into retention ratio so return on equity is 20 percent retention ratio is 1 minus 40 percent so this would be 20 into 60 percent which would get us 12 percent now we have dividend of time 0 which is 15 so dividend of time 1 would be 15 into 1.12 and this we will have to calculate as a ratio to 100 so this would be 16.8 percent plus 12 percent 28.8 percent are we fine here so now next heading in the notes that we would write intuition behind sustainable growth rate okay we've seen the formula but we want to understand why the formula is built in this particular fashion so intuition i misspelled it intuition behind sustainable growth rate g so let us build a hypothetical scenario let us say this is uh, year 1, this is year 2, this is year 3. A new business starts with an opening equity, let's say of 100. On opening equity in the first year, let us say we have been able to make profit of 40. So on your equity, if you've made profit of 40, that means your return on equity is how much? 40 percent now out of this profit you have decided to pay a dividend let us say of 30 so out of 40 if you pay a dividend of 30 what is your retention ratio your payout ratio is 75 percent your retention ratio is 25 percent so now we can get closing equity and closing equity would be 100 plus 40 minus 30 so closing equity would be 110 next year your opening equity will be 110 your profit should be 110 into 40 percent because we have already defined that ROE that we have so let me plot that calculation here that ROE we are going to keep at the rate of 40 percent and retention ratio we are going to keep at the rate of 25 percent so now next year your profit is going to be 110 into 40 percent which would be 44 out of 44 you would pay 75 percent so you would pay 33 so your closing equity in that year will become 121 a year after that opening equity will be 121 profit would be 40 percent of this amount so that would be 48.4 your dividend would become 36.3 and then your closing equity would be 133.1 is this fine now using the formula that we've already learned ROE 40 percent into retention ratio 25 percent what should be the growth rate growth rate should be 10 percent but now the question is that 10% growth rate, it is 10% of what? Is it 10% of equity? Is it 10% of profit? Or is it 10% of dividend? So let's observe carefully now. From 100, from 100, your opening equity has become 
110 that's a growth rate of 10 percent from 110 your equity has become 121 that's a growth rate of 10 percent again so 10 percent 10 percent on both the sides from 40 this has become 44 that's a growth rate of 10 this is a growth rate of 10 percent even dividend from 30 to 33 10% 33 to 36 10% which means that sustainable growth rate assumption or sustainable growth rate is growth rate of what it is growth rate of all the variables this is the rate at which your equity will increase this is the rate at which profit will increase it is also the rate at which dividend will increase now for this assumption to be true we for this scenario to be true we have to make certain assumption the first assumption The first assumption is that your ROE is constant, correct? Because if your ROE changes, then automatically your growth rate will stop working. Second assumption that your retention ratio is constant. And because you want to keep your ROE constant, the third assumption that your capital structure is constant. Because if your capital structure changes, then again automatically your ROE will change. Are we fine with this? So let us practice one more question but now I am going to make it slightly more difficult. Let us say a company has book value per share of 100. ROE of that company is 30 percent dividend per share at time one is going to be 12 market price of that particular stock so market price per share let us say is 200 calculate cost of equity using Gordon Growth model. Now to solve this question we have to derive a formula. Okay, please observe. We know that how ROA is calculated. ROE is calculated as total profit that a company has been able to earn divided by number of shares I'm sorry divided by total equity isn't it ROE is equity divided by total profit now imagine if we decide to divide both numerator and denominator with number of shares will the formula remain same so total profit divided by number of shares equity divided by number of shares so total profit divided by number of shares what is this number this number is earning per share and equity divided by number of shares this number is book value per share so now we have a new formula for ROE this formula is on a per share basis EPS ROE is equal to EPS divided by book value per share now in this question what we want to calculate we have ROE we have book value per share do we we have ROE here we have book value per share so we can say earning per share is equal to book value per share into return on equity so which means using this formula we can calculate book value per share is given as 100 and ROE is given to us as 30% which means earning per share of the company in that particular year was 30. Is this fine? Now the moment we know that earning per share is 30, out of that 30 how much dividend company has paid? 12. So which means that dividend payout ratio, dividend payout ratio of the company is how much? 40 percent 
because out of 30 they have paid dividend of 12 are you following this this is being calculated as 12 divided by 30 and therefore retention ratio would be how much retention ratio is 60 percent now that we know retention ratio now we can use retention ratio and calculate sustainable growth rate g this would be calculated as roe into r roe is already given in the question 30 percent retention ratio we have calculated to be 60 percent and therefore sustainable growth rate would be 18 percent once we have this 18 now we can calculate the cost of equity so d1 divided by p0 plus g d1 is given to us as 12 p0 is given as 200 and this is given as 18 percent so this would give us a total cost of equity of 24 percent any question you want to ask here no it should be 24 12 divided by 200 would be 6 percent 6 plus 18 24 percent are we good to go ahead so again should I clear up the screen so again what are we learning here we are currently on to cost of equity and so far so far we have seen that there are two ways of calculating cost of equity first one was CAPM the formula was RFR plus beta into equity risk premium the second one is Gordon growth model dividend of time 1 divided by P0 plus the growth rate we have also seen also seen what is the intuition behind the growth rate now the last approach for calculation of cost of equity and the easiest of them all is called Gordon growth model sorry is called bond yield plus risk premium okay so this is the easiest of all methods at times this method is also called as the built up approach so how does it work you want to calculate so you're an investor there is a particular company this company has issued bonds this company has also issued equity you want to calculate how much return you should expect to earn from this equity so first you find out what is the YTM that is being offered on the bond so let us say YTM being offered on the bond is 15 percent then you say as an investor the fact that I'm investing in equities I want to earn more than this 15 percent right so then you try to estimate how to calculate or you try to estimate a risk premium okay now how to calculate that risk premium that is beyond the scope of CFA level 1 studies right now but the you would say that is it a small cap is it a large cap and generally more riskier the company higher should be the risk premium so let us say you estimated risk premium to be 4 percent which will give you a cost of equity of 19 percent make sense now this uh, type of model are typically used in a legal setting so imagine a scenario where there's some litigation happening in a court and you have to prove the judge how the valuation is done then it would be difficult to prove using methods like CAPM or Gordon growth model but this is an easy method which everyone can understand right so certain private limited companies and typically when valuation is done when it is presented in the court the appropriate method that we use is bond yield plus risk premium are we okay